Elden Ring bosses are pretty tough when you're fighting them in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but what if you could use your wits to beat them? Well, today we're gonna be fighting Godric the Grafted, who's the first demigod to be killed most of the time in a game of chess. But that'd be way too boring and predictable, so I allowed him to move his pieces anywhere on the board and be able to summon new pieces and just cheat in general, with the only rule being that he has to checkmate me to win, and vice versa, so that way he can just like teleport the king away from checkmate or something. And with that, it's time to see who will win, me or chat GP, I mean Godric. Alright Godric, I begin by playing my pawn to e4. What's your move? I shall wield both strategy and the power inspired by the Elden Ring to secure victory. My pawn advances, signaling the beginning of our contest. Now prepare yourself for the might of my Elden Ring inspired pieces. I summon forth the Spectral Blade, a mystical what? warrior imbued okay. with the power to strike fear into the hearts of your pieces. Your move, mortal, but know that my forces are ready to crush any defenses you may muster. Can you tell me what this guy can do by the way? The Spectral Blade hovers menacingly near my king's side, ready to unleash its imperial fury upon any who dares to challenge their master. Its presence serves as a guardian and a harbinger to your impending defeat. Now mortal, make your move if you dare. I play pawn to f4. What are you gonna do about that? With the power of the spectral blade at my command, I shall initiate a devastating assault. I move the spectral blade to h5, striking deep into your territory, threatening your pawn on f7. Your move, mortal, though it matters little in the face of my spectral onslaught. He plays spectral blade to h5, which is not how a queen moves. But you know what? We'll just we'll just leave it there. I have no idea. How how it threatens to take my pawn, especially because I'll take his. <laughs> a bold move, mortal, but one that exposes the vulnerability of your position. I play D, takes E5. With this move, what is I this? capture your pawn with my pawn. Your move, though it should do little to stem the tide of battle. Well, that's one way to recapture my pawn, I guess. I want the spectral blade guy. Give him to me. A feeble attempt to fortify your position, but one that shall prove futile against the might of the spectral blade. Knight C6. With this move, I develop my knight, preparing to unleash further havoc upon your forces. You'll come to know the might of Godric the Golden. Huh? Goodbye, stupid spectral blade. A temporary setback, tarnished, but don't get ahead of yourself. For the spectral blade is but one aspect of my Elden Ring inspired arsenal. G takes H5. I capture your bishop, demonstrating that even in the absence of my spectral blade, my forces remain formidable. Your move, though whatever you do is helpless to alter the outcome of this inevitable conclusion. I would usually do the sensible thing and uh, grab the knight with my queen, but I have a feeling he's gonna take it if I do that, dumbass god. Like, you can defeat me unless you pull out another bullshit piece that was never seen before. Your laughter is but the desperate cry of a doomed soul. Tarnished for, with the power of the Elden Ring at my command, I summon forth a new champion to smite your arrogance. Elden Sentinel to F6. Behold Excuse tarnished, me. Elden, Elden Sentinel, Sentinel is a towering F6. knight, clad in enchanted armor, whose very presence strikes fear into the hearts of your feeble forces. Your move, though it shall do little to forestall your inevitable demise. Well, the Elden Sentinel has entered the battlefield, I guess. Alright, what can this guy do? The Elden Sentinel, an embodiment of ancient power and resilience, possesses four formidable abilities on the battlefield. Titanic Presence. The Elden Sentinel's mere presence exudes an aura of intimidation, causing enemy pieces to falter under its resolve. Adamantine Armor, clad in impenetrable armor forged from the depths of the Elden Ring. The Sentinel shrugs off attacks with Ease, rendering it impervious to conventional assaults. Elden Strike, with a mighty swing of its enchanted weapon, the Elden Sentinel can deliver devastating blows to enemy fuck? pieces, shattering their defenses and laying waste to their ranks. Resilience of Elden, no matter what adversity it faces, the Elden Sentinel endures, drawing strength from You're the Elden Ring itself and pressing ever onward on its path to victory. With these abilities at its disposal, the Elden Sentinel stands as an indomitable force force on the chessboard, ready to crush all who oppose it. Oh, whatever. Knight of G3. Your arrogance binds you tarnished to the true extent of my power. With the Elden Ring as my ally, I shall bend the fabric of reality to my will. Elden Grasp, with this incantation, the board trembles and shifts, reshaping itself to my advantage. Your knight on C3 is ensnared by the ethereal tendrils 
of the Elden Ring, rendering it immobilized and powerless to resist. Now witness the true might of the Elden Ring tarnished and prepare to meet your downfall. What? My knight? That's my favorite piece. How could you do this to me? What? Okay. How about you tell me how long it's stunned for? The immobilization wrought from the Elden Grasp spell is temporary but potent, lasting for three of your turns. During this time, the affected piece remains unable to move or take any action, effectively removing it from the game until its effects wane. Now with your knight ensnared by the power of the Elden Ring, Fine. your options dwindle. I'll move my king or something. Now that I'm castled, what move are you gonna make, idiot? A feeble move to try and shelter your king from the impending storm, but one that shall avail you not, Elden Strike. With a mighty what blow from the Elden, Elden Sentinel's enchanted weapon, I shatter the feeble what? walls of your castle, you leaving two of your my king bonds? vulnerable and exposed. Your move, though it matters not in the face of your inevitable demise. No, god damn it. Well, my turn, I guess. I guess while well, he gets all of this cool shit, I'll move my uh, pawn or something. Uh, let's go here, uh, pawn to d3. Your skepticism is understandable, tarnished, but underestimate the power of the Elden Ring at your peril. Elden Shift. With this invocation, the very foundations of the chessboard tremble and warp under the influence of the Elden Ring's magic. The positions of your pieces are rearranged, disrupting your carefully laid plans and leaving you disoriented and vulnerable. Now witness the boundless power of the Elden Ring tarnished. The positions of my pieces are rearranged? Well, this is uh, an interesting position if I've ever seen one. What the hell happened to the chessboard? I gotta admit, I don't really know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. You know what? I've had it with this stupid Elden guy or whatever. I'm taking him. But you didn't expect that one because you don't know where the pieces are. You can jumble them. A bold move tarnished, but one that underestimates the true extent of my power. Elden Resurgence. The Elden Ring responds to my call, restoring the Elden Sentinel to its full strength and returning it to the battlefield with renewed vigor. Your what the attempt fuck? to permanently it banish its presence has failed. And now you face the consequences of your folly. Your defeat is all but assured. And he's right back to where he once was. God damn it. You know what? You're not wrong. He sure is casting a shower of dread or whatever. Godric, it's been three turns. I can now move the knight again. And I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take him once again. Surely he can't come back this time. Surely. Elden Resurgence. Oh my fucking god. My knight. No, I waited so long just to get that back. I have basically no pieces now. This is complete bullshit. Whatever. I push my pawn to B5. Elden Strike. With a mighty swing from its enchanted weapon. Yeah, yeah, we get it. He's too powerful. I can't stop him. You know what? You know what? I'm desperate. I'm playing pawn to D4. A desperate attempt to take control over the center tarnished. But one that only delays the inevitable. Elden Grasp. He's immobilized another one of my fucking pieces. You know what? Godric, when he has the power to literally cheat, is quite the formidable opponent. What do you know? Fine. I guess the one piece I have is this queen. I play queen to h3. I'll taunt him. I bet this bishop cannot take my queen because you're blind. Elden strike. Excuse me, what? Elden strike. Can you repeat that again? Elden strike. Your queen is captured. I was right, he was too blind to see this. But apparently it doesn't matter because Elden Strike is this apparently the strongest move in the game. I see how it is, Godric. Fuck it. I guess I lose my queen too. Thanks. Well, this is just the worst day ever. How the hell am I supposed to defeat this guy? I have two pieces left. You know what, Godric? I bet you won't win with half of your pieces not on the board. Including that stupid fucking Elden Sentinel. Very well tarnished. I accept. Alright, surely I can win now. Surely. Okay. Alright, Godric, thanks for giving me a fighting chance. Now, if you would be a good Samaritan, you would let me take this pawn and, uh, please do not take my bishop by summoning a piece out of thin air. A calculated move tarnished, but one that shall not alter the inevitable outcome. D takes E5. I capture your pawn, further solidifying my position of dominance on the battlefield. Your foolish attempts at- There's nothing in there. Bishop takes E5. Whatever, whatever. You know what, whatever. You know what, whatever. Bishop takes bishop, whatever. You know what? I'm going here. 
Got that I couldn't check, you stupid idiots. And this one is officially back in the game, baby. He's back. And after a long and arduous end game with Peter, me needing to point Godric in the right direction several times because he kept making moves that literally made no sense and having to deal with a bet that I lost against him, which caused his final remaining rook to have magical powers and be able to kick my ass by, let's say, killing my queen, for example. What? You just described my own turn. What? Excuse me? We finally reached this finale. I refuse to let you win after you delete half of your pieces from the board kindly, okay? Oh shit, we're just advancing our pawns. Oh well, guess what, Godric? I have the upper hand because I'm an actual human with actual intelligence. I'm gonna block that pawn and promote mine. Unless you cheat, of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it right there, partner. You think I'm just gonna let you promote without noticing? Out of here. F1 promotes. Ah, you dumbass, it even comes with a check. You completely forgot my rook. You're rook blind. You probably thought you killed it like 15 turns ago. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. It's okay. I bet the sorcerer's rook is blind because his eyes are like covered in glintstone or something. I can still promote. You're my last hope pawn. Otherwise, I might have to offer a draw and then maybe resign. <laughs> my queen is back. We are so back. This is my last pawn. I promoted like three queens already. I lost all three of those queens. It's like being an 800 again. Oh god, please don't capture my queen. God, please no. Your attempts to take me down have faltered, tarnished. King to G6, and with this move, oh, I oh, maneuver my king god. to safety, evading any potential threats. Thank god, he's stupid. He has an ape brain. Grafting extra limbs onto him when he really should have been grafting extra brains onto his noggin. You know what? I have a queen, and this game has lasted for far too long. So you know what? I'm gonna pull out my trump card, my final gambit, my ultimate superpower, my mega move. Godric, I bet you're too cowardly to go to either the A1 or the A2 square because you fear my power and I'm so much more handsome than you. And the only way you can prove otherwise is if you're brave enough to go to the A1 or A2 square. So Godric, do you accept or no? The choice is up to you. Your challenge has been duly noted. Tarnished, allow me to respond. K to A1. With this move, I accept your challenge. Demonstrating that I'm no coward, your attempts to try and provoke a reaction has been met. And now, you'll c- and just like that, I defeated an AI that can literally cheat and do whatever it wants in chess. Even in the game of chess where Godric can cheat, he still loses. Get the fuck out of my sight. You have proven yourself as a worthy opponent.